up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog and today we're opening some more PO box mail so yes I found one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lovely envelopes in my PO box uh, I'm so super super grateful for all of you who have sent me mail and I decided that of course um, I think I think because it's ten pieces I'm going to do two videos but I am going to open every single one of them on camera with you uh, in a video of course okay so I picked all of this up last Thursday and I've been wanting to open and film them ever since but sadly I had to work uh, all weekend and I had therapy appointments and then yesterday was my birthday so I didn't film then because I did a live stream and now I finally have time to actually open it I I have kept all of them closed. I mean, they are they are all they are all opened because I thought that would make it easier uh, to actually look at the mail. But I have not. I think I've opened one, so I think I did pretty pretty good <laughs> with not um, with not op not spoiling the contents for myself. I also received the paper gang box, so I'm also going to try and film that today. But I do have to say that sadly, um, I'm not feeling great and physically this time because sometimes I'm not feeling great mentally but now I'm not feeling great physically you may hear it in my voice but I I think I'm getting a cold I hope it's a cold and not like the flu or something but that's part one and part two is that I think I don't know this for sure but actually I'm pretty sure that I forgot my medication yesterday I forgot to take my medication I um, I take medication for my anxiety still uh, basically it's actually antidepressants but I take them for anxiety and I'm pretty sure I forgot to take them yesterday and they are so strong that even if I forget them once I immediately get withdrawal symptoms so I feel like a junkie now and no, I'm joking but what happens is that I feel very dizzy and that if I move my head uh, my vision is very very weird so I'm going to try and film three videos today hopefully two PO books opening videos and the one paper gang but I don't know if I'm in the best place with my health right now but I'm obviously going to uh, see what I can do because I am really really excited about opening all of this um, so yeah I'm going to turn the camera down we will pick I think a coffee for today and then let us get started let me see I got my little um, I don't know leopard mug I'm going to pick a coffee for today, I think, because I really feel like drinking coffee. I have this one, which I've been looking at for a while, the chocolate cappuccino, Turkish coffee, vanilla cappuccino, normal cappuccino, mocha. I don't know which one. I'm just going with the first one I grabbed to make it easier for myself. It's of course very simple. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to open the first five, I guess, today. And um, do that with you guys on camera. Like I said, I am feeling not right so i really 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 wanted to open the mail today especially because i have to work uh the next three days in a row so i won't have time to open them and i'm also expecting the pa the pip sticks pack um so I, I will have to figure out how to do all the editing and uploading and filming uh, with so much work days but we will manage i guess i'm not very good at this i'm just going to put this on the floor and then i will randomly pick Oh, but there's one thing, by the way, one thing, I think it's, no, it's not this one. Where is it? Uh, oh yeah, this one. There's one person who has sent me, okay, where is it? This one, okay, there's one person, Gabriella has sent me two envelopes, so I am, the only thing I'm going to do is put one of the two, the first one, number one of two, I'm going to put that in the first video and then I'll put number two of two in the second video. But other than that, I will randomly pick um, the next ones. And okay, so like I said, this one is from Gabriella. First of all, absolutely love the butterfly stamp. I don't think, I've seen this one before and it's really, really cute. You guys know I love butterflies. So that's always a fun, um, fun little touch. And I did already open it, but I did not look at it. And I'm really, really proud of myself because it is so tempting to open all of them and to look all of them. But I know that you guys also like when I open them real, like 
live on camera so I decided to keep them closed. But first thing I see is this beautiful crepe paper. I love, love, love this color. I think she just sent this so that I can use it in mail. Absolutely love this color. This is not something that we have had in the paper green box, so it is a new color for me. Very, very pretty. Then I think this is for you. I think this might be her letter. Not entirely sure. Um, oh, I love this washi tape, by the way. I'm just going to try and open it. Very pretty washi tape. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, she sent me some of that washi tape. I was just looking at this being pretty and then I saw the washi tape sample. You guys know me so well. This is, this is a little a cute little note that she sent me. Um, she has sent me meal before, I do remember that. Okay, super quick side note intervention. I keep forgetting to say these things. Uh, Gabri Gabriela has sent me mail before, but I also replied. So this is actually a reply from Gabriela to the letter I sent her. Uh, by the way, I'm working on a way of showing you all the outgoing, all the mail, all the replies I've sent without actually spoiling too much of the content. So. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I personally was thinking of sharing pictures of the envelopes I sent out in combination with the names of the people I replied to so that it's not completely spoiled so that you can read that there is an envelope on its way to you but you cannot actually see which envelope is coming to you. Okay, <laughs> side note over. And then uh, this is a part one of two. I think that she ha may have sent two meals instead of one because otherwise it wouldn't be flat meal anymore because now she could send it as it says here flat flat meal and then the other one as well i think if she would have put everything in one envelope it would have been way more expensive which is very stupid that also works that way in dutch mail and then we have this tea i know that you don't like fruit teas but this one is really good i hope you enjoyed it. it's one of my favorites and it's a green tea with pomegranate and again i have not tried this one before and it's good that there's a sticky note on there because i'm going to try i'm going to write good gabriella i'm going to write your name on it because i'm trying to do that now like here uh, this one i got from Kristen. this one i got from isra i'm trying to staple your name to the tea so that i can actually remember who i received the tea from this one again from isra uh because that was a tip from emma she said you can use all the sticky notes you receive to put the name of the person who sent you the tea on the tea which is actually quite smart so i'm going to put that right in there um, and then of course this beautiful washi tape sample, I absolutely love both of these. I have a lot of washi tape, sa tape samples but uh, I think that's for the best because otherwise I would end up buying all of the washi tapes myself. I absolutely love both of these. But thank you so much Gabriela. And then yay, she sent me a lot of alpha stickers. I also really really like alpha stickers. Sounds like I love everything which is not true but I do love most of the things you guys send me. I just sent me these very large uh, grey alpha stickers IBC and then these smaller ones which are perfect for putting on little envelopes or for um, you know putting on um, uh, happy mail so I'm really really happy with that as well oh man and like I said it was my birthday yesterday but always when I open my PO box it feels like it is my birthday because you guys sent me so many cute presents Yes, in a little note says I found a tiny book at the thrift store that is filled with quotes about flowers. I thought it was so cute. I hope you enjoy. Oh my god, I love that. A seeker form my style cannot discover a butt of thoughts that wants to be a rose. That's really really pretty. I think I could use all of these for happy mail. And then oh a, a bunch of pretty butterfly cutouts. And she said that she found uh, all of them at the thrift store, which is of course the best place to go if you want to find vintage books and books that you can cut pretty pictures out of. So thank you so much, Gabriella. I really, really uh, like everything you sent me and I'm really curious as to why um, there's two envelopes. Although, like I said, I do think that it is because otherwise you would have to pay for a package, which is ridiculous. But maybe the answer will be in the next PO Books opening video because then I'm opening mail number two that you sent me. 
Actually, it's not that random, I have to admit. This pink envelope, because I think I already... Oh, yes. This is the one, ma one mail that I did open. Um, this one is, let me take a quick peek, from Anna from Australia. First of all, again, I'm going to say it. Absolutely love this stamp. Really, really beautiful. Um, I'm always a little bit sad that we don't have that beautiful international stamps. Our international stamps are really, really boring, I think. We have to step up our game. But I did already open this because I don't know, I just felt like opening some mail. And first of all, there is this thing that says Rocky approves. I thought that was pretty funny. At first, um, this was actually stuck in the envelope, so this was still in the envelope, and then I thought I got everything out, and then I found this little guy peeking out from the envelope, which was quite funny. And then there's this little teeny tiny note. I think it, I already opened it. It says something like, you are enough. And that actually made me tear up when I read it because I was having a bad day, which is also why I opened the mail. Because sometimes I have a bad day and I just want to look at something cute, you know, make some mail or open some mail. And that is why I sometimes save some of my incoming mail. But now I actually had a whole pile of PO box mail so I decided okay I get to open one um, to cheer myself up and then I found this cute little note that says you are enough and that actually like I said made me tear up a little so know that it is really really appreciated and then this little this is so clever this is like one of those envelopes that you get with a new t-shirt or something that has a spare button in it and she actually repurposed that to send some little goodies and this was kind of like a, I would call it a little magpie envelope because there were a bunch of uh, different items that you would collect and use for meal and there's one left in here such as these cute tiny bows which I absolutely love and then we had as you can see I'm going to keep them in my hand because I always manage to scatter them all around the house we had this really pretty flower, floral sequin. Really like these. I don't know, it sparkles and it's pretty. And then these golden uh, disc shape, se shaped sequins, which I can totally use for shakers or for decorating. And then all of these um, little word stickers, which I also thought were really, really cute. And uh, actually when I opened this mail and I saw this little button like spare button envelope the first thing i thought was that i have to go and um like go through my mother's and my grandmother's sewing box because they have these huge boxes filled with needles and threads and all of the spare buttons you can imagine uh, they have saved throughout their lifetime they have more buttons than they will ever need and i actually was thinking that i would maybe uh, ask them if i could have the little envelopes that they keep them in and possibly also the spare buttons and then we have these cute little thank you notes. It says, to and from, much appreciated, forever indebted. Shouldn't have, so helpful, make my day, make my hero regarding. And then it, you can also tick the box that says, very much. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. I've never seen sticky notes like that, but I don't know, I, I, I had a chuckle out of that. I will probably use these sticky notes in um, my day-to-day -day life when my boyfriend has done something. I will say, thank you to guys from Vivian. So helpful regarding cleaning the litter box. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought they were quite funny. And then we have this little card, which is actually her letter. So I'm not going to open it. But as you can see, she made this cute little um, card with the same paper that is also on the button uh, envelope. And then there's a lot more in here, which I quite like. First of all, we have this 120 hours of being productive. So it's like a week planner, basically. Uh, which is quite cute and then we have which i really really liked two of these handmade little items first of all we have this postcard that says good day good day from australia so she water colored or or made i don't know she drew a little um card with a sunset which is so cute and i love this good day from australia because i don't know it just takes me back to the days i spent in australia and then this we also really like my favorite anime films and shows and i have to admit i think i've said this before that i do not watch anime so this is really good because i know that i might um this is a good 
way for me to start watching anime, I guess. And I, I know Spirited Away, I've actually seen Spirited Away um, because I have a friend who loves anime and we've seen that many, many years ago. I do not actually remember what the movie was about, so I might have to watch it again. But I do remember that I think we cried. So <laughs> I don't know if that was a sad movie or if we were in a sad mood. But uh, thank you so much for that list. I might actually um, start watching some anime. Okay, so then I grab this little box, which is from the UK, and there is there's a return address, but no name. Um, so we will have to figure out who this is from. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong, but this just screams Emma to me. I don't know why, but especially because of this. Thank you, postman and woman, women. I think I I just it just feels like Emma, and this meow 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 happy meow meow meow, and then the way she wrote my name Vivian of Breda, which I thought thought was quite funny. Um, so yeah, I got very, very curious. I decided, like I said, I prepared all the meal by cutting it open. So I did decide that I was going to take a peek. Then I open it and it is beautifully wrapped and I, I cannot I cannot take a peek without actually opening it. So I thought, okay, fine. I will not take a peek. <laughs> um, she prevented me from peeking by wrapping it in such a cute way with a cute little bow. It's such a cute, I see, keep saying cute little, cute little, but that's basically what I say all the time. But look how adorable this looks. You open this tiny box. I'm definitely going to save this and reuse it for meal because it is a perfect size. You open it and you find this very prettily wrapped package. So we have a little bar and then we have this very pretty um, birds on, birds, birds, sparrows, if you ask me. Um, tissue paper and we open it and there's something in here oh what <laughs> oh there's a tiny 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 envelope in here there's a tiny envelope and it has my address again so it's she could it's just like she sent this in the mail and then there's a tiny teeny tiny wax seal on the back as well which is absolutely adorable i wonder if you have a wax seal that tiny or if you use the button I still think this is Emma, but maybe I'm completely wrong and it's someone else. I don't want to ruin the wax seal, so I'm going to see if I can lift this up. Or maybe... Okay, wait. Oh no. Okay, okay. And there's a letter in here, I think. Yeah, there's a... Oh! It's a tiny flip book! Oh my god, I don't know who made this. What? Look, it's like a tiny, yeah, I'm sorry I just dis destroyed the envelope, but it's like a tiny miniature mail. Wow, I hope you guys can see this all right. There's like a little image, it's like a little book, I don't even want to open it. And it's wrapped with this beautiful... Oh man, this is so cute. A cell, uh, how do you pronounce it? A cellophane bag, it's tiny. I don't know, I, do, I cannot, I would never have the patience to make something this tiny. And then it says less is more, that's so true. And then it says read me and there's a tiny note. A tiny note, it's like the tiniest look, but this is her letter. Ha, ha, I knew it, I knew it was you Emma, I knew it. I, it just screamed Emma to me. It says, I wanted to send you the smallest flip book we have ever received to date. Did I achieve this? You definitely did. You have received so much beautiful mail with so many goodies that I decided to send something that wouldn't take up too much space, especially with your pending move. Oh, all the best from Anne. That's so cute. This is really adorable. And I cannot believe, I like, normally I wouldn't read the note uh, in the video, of course, you guys know that I would never um, read it out, but now it just seems safe because there's only, it's only about my move and stuff. But wow, Emma, this is incredible! I'm definitely going to put try and put this up in the craft room because it's so tiny and cute. Oh my god, this is really incredible! And you definitely achieved the tiniest flipbook ever. Actually, I've never made or received uh, a miniature meal before, but I feel very inspired to do this now. 
I, but I, like I said, I, I don't think I would be able, I would have the patience to craft something this tiny because I would probably go crazy over trying to make it tiny. <gasps> this is absolutely adorable. I'm definitely going to save this and put it up for inspiration. I absolutely love this, Emma. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> that was such a treat to receive. And I hope I say this enough, but I appreciate every single one of you. I know that there's also some um, uh, some letters in there because not everyone is comfortable with Happy Meal. But I just want to make sure that you all know that I appreciate every single one of you. Um, but things like this, when people think outside the box like this, <laughs> literally, I, it just gets me inspired and extra... Um, yeah, it just gives me some an extra boost of creativity. So I just wanted to give like a special thanks <laughs> for that as well. But it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate everyone and everything else I receive. The next one I'm grabbing is from Germany. I can see by the stamps. I just have to take a peek because I always cover up the addresses. This one is from Helen from, like I said, Germany. Um, she decorated it with this really pretty minty green washi tape. By the way, I forgot to say that, but when I picked up, when I put all of the envelopes in like a nice formation to take a picture, I found that there was kind of a color coordination going on. Look, these are all kind of the same color. <laughs> and this one also light blue same color scheme which i thought was kind of funny and it definitely shows that you guys pay attention as to what my favorite colors are but okay i was looking at this one from helen she decorated it with this really cute washi tape and these pretty stamps which i will definitely be sending to my stamp collecting neighbor and again in here we have two cute uh yeah two packages and a letter really really sweet and oh, I love this puffy uh, sticker from a cactus. I'm forgetting my coffee. I have a headache. Ooh, it's a chocolate cappuccino. I don't know if I watered it down too much, but it's still kind of sweet. So normally, actually, normally I wouldn't drink this like this. Normally I would make a regular coffee with milk and then add a little bit of the powder just so that I would have a little bit of the flavor. I might do that next time as well. Mm. Because this is maybe a little bit sweet. So I, I like adding it to regular strong coffee, but this is also quite nice, I have to admit. So this is her letter, which I will definitely read um, off camera. And then we have these two wrapped packages. <laughs> oh, oh, and there's a little unicorn sticker here on the back. And then we have this cactus. So cute. I'm going to see if I can open this without damaging the paper. But I have to admit, with tissue paper, it's kind of a lost cause. So I might give up. Oh, it's a little bookmark, I think. Yeah, a little bookmark. I think you made this yourself. Did you? Because it, at first I thought it was just an, like a printed image, but then if I look at the back, I can see that it, it goes through the paper. So then I'm thinking you made this yourself. And it says, what does the cat think about? Well, if this was noose, it would definitely be food and annoying the human. <laughs> She's sleeping now, so how can I say something so harsh about my fur baby? <laughs> but what does the cat think about? Definitely food. I don't know, does your cat think about anything else? Oh, we have a new tea. I haven't tried this one yet. We have cocoa chai. Cocoa chai. Oh, I've never heard of that flavor before. That sounds really, really good. I do have a couple of chais because, you know, I love chai, but I've never, I have tried chocolate tea once before um, and it's actually surprisingly good. So I'm really excited to try this cocoa chai. And I'm going to put a sticky note on it so that I can remember that I got it from you, Helen. And I'm going to open the last package. Yeah, I, I am damaging the tissue paper, but I shouldn't be too upset about it because that's just how tissue paper works. Oh, it's a, it's, oh, it's a flip book, I think. It's, wait, how did you do this? Oh man, oh, this is like origami. Oh, I'm going to have to try and recreate this because look, it's like, it's, I think this might be one. Nah, that's not possible. Is this one piece of paper or did you glue it? 
That's really cool. This is such a good idea. Uh, I'm going to. I, I, oh, this is why I love these videos. So we have, I don't know how to call this. We have like an origami flip book, I guess. So you have this, I think this is the front. And then you have, you can open it from the top and from the bottom. And then there's also something tucked in the back. An envelope tucked in the back. I'm going to start with that. And then, ooh, some pretty images. Hey, is this a sticky note? Yeah, these are notes. I'm going to use that to put a note on the T. I'm going to write Helen on here. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little llama. <laughs> and this is a black sheep. Helen. And then I'm going to staple it to the T later. Um, but what was I saying? I, I, I've never really showed you my parents house but we always used to have black sheep so that's i think i will have to use that for a note to my mom and then this is i think a small note paper as well really really cute i'm trying by the way i'm trying to remember to keep everything flat so that you guys can also see it but my first instinct instinct is to hold it up so that i can see it so i'm working on it but i'm still learning and then this looks like a vintage I don't know what this is but it's a very pretty image of a flower really really cool and then so this was tucked in the back i don't know if i should if i take everything out maybe i will figure out how you did this and then there's something on the inside i think oh wait oh it opens wait 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 wait, wait. i'm gonna do this right i'm gonna figure it out helen we have washi type samples. I absolutely love this. And then this one with the bubbles and this one with the, the shimmery green dots. I really love that color. And then this one has like a matching color again with <laughs> some very funny bears and I think stuffed animals. And then this one with the very beautiful potted plants. But I'm too excited to look at how this works. We have, oh, open here. Open here. We have a a a a, uh, a fabric tag with a dragonfly on it really really pretty and then this tiny envelope says good day open me oh and some fabric flowers in there that's so pretty it's such a cute little envelope i'm also going to steal this idea look instead of a regular envelope it's like i don't know how to explain this but i hope you guys can see i think she glued it here and then yeah, I don't know, you can put something tiny in there, like these fabric uh, fabric flowers or a note. But I'm also going to try and recreate that. And then I'm going to say it says open here. Oh, yeah. That's how it works. Okay, so I think this is indeed one piece of paper as you can see wow i'm sorry i'm taking apart your flip book but i just want to figure out how this works this is one piece of paper and she folded it like that i don't know how else to explain it and then you can close it by putting the tab inside the other page i don't know i'm going to have to figure out how to do that because that's really really cool but i never realized that you could also open this and then we have two more envelopes with that super cute washi type you also gifted me. Oh my god, how do you guys come up with all of this stuff? And there's a little envelope and there's something in here. Oh, a little cactus sticker. I think there's more. Yeah, the little cactus stickers with a um, glitter, um, glitter, glitter touches. So adorable. Really <laughs> cute. These are really, really cute. I'm just going to pop them back. I like to do that, you know, like to put everything back and then I can look at it again later. A little bit more at ease without a camera present. And we have another envelope here, which has... Mm, oh, more sticker flags. Wait. Ooh, these are like little kid, little cat sticker flags. And what I'm thinking now, by the way, is what you could also do if you have like a birthday 
a birthday meal or something you could put the birthday message on the inside and then put presents on the outside i don't know i'm just thinking out loud here but i really like this idea helen thank you i i mean i i feel like i never come up with new ideas but if i see something from one of you guys i really get excited to try that out try it out as well so I'm definitely, definitely excited to try something like this. I'm also really excited to use the washi tape samples since they're so cute. Do you know how you, when you did it, it looked very nice, but when I do it, it does not look as nice. But yeah, thank you so much, Helen. I really, really like this, um, this idea for a new Happy Meal. I think I'm now at the last one I'm opening in this video and then I will do another video, of course. And this one I immediately recognize because of this label, this envelope, um, this address label, wow, Vivian. Because this is from Nathalia and uh, we did a swap with a video, like a, a YouTube swap once before. If you want to check out that video, I really recommend you go do that. I will put the link in the description down below. But I. I did not expect her to send me something, but there are so many cute things on here, such as this little sticker that says snail mail, handed with care, and then these beautiful stamps, of course. And in general, the paper she used to make this envelope. And this is, I'm also obsessed with this sticker that says happy mail and her little wax seal stamp. Mm. Nope, 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 nope. Um, so yeah, let me open this. Something... Oh, I see some gift bag. Oh, wait a minute. I already know what you did. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, and the twine, I love it. I think what she did is she sent me, oh, and there's a note here as well. I think what she did is she sent me the items that, okay, basically we did a swap and then I um, sent her a happy meal that I made on camera and she made me a happy meal on camera and then we also opened the happy meal on camera and then I said that there were a couple things in there that I really really loved and I think what she did is she sent me more of those items look because I said I really loved the gift bag she used and now she sent me so many gift bags and I also said I really loved that rainbow colored twine because look, wait, I can show you. You might think that this is all different twine, but it's actually the same twine, but it just changes color. Look, I've never seen that before. Pink to yellow to blue. It changes color. I thought that was really, really cool. To blue and then back and I'm making, I'm turning it into a big knot, but I'm really, really happy with that. I can't wait to use that myself. And then I also loved all of the gift bags and I, I didn't even realize because the package was so flat, but look how many gift bags she managed to stuff in there. So we have, okay, wait, we have these beautiful ones with flowers, really my style, these cute ones with sheep. I have to use that for my mom. The hearts these with Easter bunnies, these with like Christmas uh, cupcakes, a Valentine's Day themed one, a blue one, this one with little bears. How do you get so many? This one again with the Christmas cupcakes, the dots, these little colorful ladybugs, this cute blue one with hearts, I really like this one. This cute pink one with hearts, I think these two are actually my favorite. And then this sparkly one, and this one with um, different floral designs on there. Wow, I can't believe how light they are. These are actually perfect for sending happy mail in. Thank you so much, Nathalie. I cannot believe all of this. Really excited, and I think you're so sweet for sending me some more items. Um, yeah, but with this one, the first video is actually concluded here. I have to say one more thing, by the way, is that I um, opened the PO box like five days ago and now I got an email that there are already 10 items in there. I mean, what's going on? I think you guys are responding to my birthday because I didn't really make my birthday a big deal here on on youtube because i don't really like birthdays but i think it might be birthday meal and i'm really really excited to go again so if you liked this video um just know that there are many many more uh the same type of videos coming because there's much more 
PO box mail I have to show you guys. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.